family, family, greetings, greetings to all them Guyanese people all over the world, from New York City to California, from Michigan to Florida, wherever, whether you're in Toronto or Ontario, London or Brussels, India or China, Botswana or South Africa, Barbados, Cuba, Jamaica or Trinidad, Cayenne or Suriname, if you're a GT, anywhere in the world, anywhere in the global diaspora, big up yourself and keep doing your thing. Representing for that beautiful gem in South America we call Guyana. Enough love and respect to the homeland, the motherland, and everybody with a home first. But to all them Guyanese in the diaspora who left the homeland because of tough times, because of poverty, lack of opportunity, you left in search of that betterment, that better life, that dream. Big up yourself, soldier. Keep doing your thing. Keep studying. Keep working. Keep dreaming. Keep striving. Keep pursuing. Here's a GT. You got to make it. All right. But in the meantime and in between time, here we are. Your boy Chico being to GT. <laughs> Yes, Guyana Tapestry in Guyana. You hear what I'm saying? It's though. Uh, I've been home on after a long time. It was a short time, but it was a nice time. Guyana coconut water. Fresh. One repo market, Saturday morning. <laughs> But anyhow, uh, while there, I had the opportunity to visit, guess where? Guyana's stores to get a couple of short Jackson some rock cloth, yes. But the real reason I'm sharing this experience is because while at Guyana's stores, yes, Guyana's stores between Water and Main Streets in Georgetown, the sisters assisting me with the rock cloth shared, one of them shared an experience with a friend who's Guyanese American. I find the experience and an issue it addresses interesting because it wasn't the first time I heard Guyanese uh, speak in this way. As I move about the diaspora, I continue to hear Guyanese give different reasons why they would not return to Guyana, either to visit or to live. Listen to Latoya share a bit of her experience and then we'll discuss. Family greetings. This is Chico with Guyana Tapestry and guess what? We are in Guyana, in Guyana stores and I have the privilege. I'm here shopping some fabric and I have the privilege. I was assisted by these two beautiful Guyanese sisters and Latoya. Latoya is here sharing some of her views with me. I shared with her what I'm doing for Guyana Tapestry and she's sharing some of that feedback about um, her experiences with the diaspora. So please share Latoya. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's wonderful. Hi. Good Sorry, morning everyone. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you mm -hmm. I have a friend living overseas. Right. Right? Living over like 30 years now or more. Mm -hmm. He said when he comes to Guyana, mm -hmm. He said, first of all, he said, the guy needs to be too slow. Mm -hmm. Right? And I mentioned he said, the money, a little bit. A little bit of money. Yes, he said, he won't come here and live. Mm -hmm. Come right? back home and live. No, he won't come back. He first stay overseas. Mm -hmm. Right? Oh, why why is that also because of the currency? The currency. The currency is low here. So, and what does he come home for? What, what does he... Just come to visit. Visit and go back. He don't spend long. He spend mm -hmm. like a two weeks. Sometimes he was in his arm back. Mm -hmm. When I see him, sometimes he's he always fretting. Um, this happened to him today. He didn't understand these guys. He's always complaining. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Yeah, I'm back here. Understood. He Understood. Won't come here. So, expressing dissatisfaction with the way processes work in Guyana, lifestyle, so on. Mm. But the lifestyle for me, mm -hmm. I'm a Guyanese. The lifestyle here. It's comfortable for me, mm -hmm. right? Because I born, I grew up here, right? And for me, living in America for me will be different. Yes, it is different, right? 
uh, maybe if I ever get a chance mm -hmm. and I go to America and come back, I guess I might feel the same like the person who came. Because even though I, I'm living here, mm -hmm. it's fine one or two people, difficult guys, people, some understand. of them difficult to understand. understand right. Because you deal with them on a daily, daily basis. basis. Right. You know? So the friction. Mm -hmm. I get That's why you talk to some of them, they would. You don't understand that I could explain. So maybe that's why my friend to find it difficult. So first I got you. Thank you so much. Thank right. you for sharing your views at It was an absolute pleasure to be here and to meet some of my fun Guyanese sisters. Thank you so much for your help. They helped me find my African fabric and we had a, a brief little chit chat and then I'll be on my way. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Bear in mind, Latoya's reflection is not a comprehensive or exhaustive look at this issue. But to support Latoya's point, I have heard Guyanese provide other justifications for why they wouldn't return home, such as crime, security, social and lifestyle activities, outdated laws that don't reflect cultural changes, jobs, income, to name a few. While we're on the subject, we talk a lot about the diaspora on Guyana Tapestry. But what do we mean when we speak of the diaspora? This is important for context moving forward. According to Merriam-Webster, diaspora refers to one, people settled far from their ancestral homelands, for example, members of the African diaspora, and two, the movement, migration, or scattering of a people away from an established or ancestral homeland. For a more theoretical or academic definition, Jonathan Grossman, 2019, in an article toward a definition of diaspora in the Journal of Ethnic and Racial Studies, defined diaspora as a transnational community where members or their ancestors emigrated or were dispersed from their original homeland but remain oriented to it and preserve a group identity. All of that to say, in other words, we is Guyanese. <laughs> All right, now that you know what I'm talking about, what do you think about what I say, the tie I say, your friends say about going home to Guyana? Yes, is a he say, she say. <laughs> No, but please share your thoughts on this matter in the comments below. Look forward to chatting with you again soon. Until then, it's Chico with Guyana Tapestry, GT. One love.